Apparently I was really good because I have three people and I still have the ball. <laughs> there was a time Alicia Sherman couldn't bring herself to look at these pictures. And I always was looking for the place that I belonged. She found that in youth soccer at 13 during a game she fell and landed on her right leg. My knee popped. And so I was 13, I was playing Nordic and I just, I just knew something was really bad. She tore one ligament and badly strained another. After surgery, she was prescribed Percocet for the pain. More pills two years later for another major injury, but this time the medication consumed her. I knew that I was being self-destructive and I knew that, um, that what I was doing was not okay. By 18, she turned to heroin, chemically similar to those painkillers. And by that time, any sort of morals or uh, rules or lines in the sand that you have for yourself, you start crossing. She tried over 20 rehab programs and detoxes over the years before getting clean at 29. Now at 33, she's engaged, has a career, and coming out on the other side, she has a message for addicts still using. I'm living a life beyond my wildest dreams. Um, and if it can happen to me, it can happen to anyone. It's just, you got to put in work. A success story she hopes can be duplicated to help others break their state of addiction. In Burlington, Rachel Cars, NBC5 News.